ATEM Video presents Be My Guest Entrepreneur Showcase with special guest Next Level Entertainment and Brown Box. And here is your host, Misha Caldwell. Hello, and my name is Misha Caldwell, and welcome to Be My Guest. This is the second of three shows where we are highlighting entrepreneurs and their journey. If you're looking to start your start a business, our guests today have helpful information that may enlighten you. After this break, we will tune right in with Next Level. Stay tuned. At SRT Media, we specialize in press releases. Media campaigns. Social media. Crisis management. Branding and more. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call at 480-406-8072 and let's work together. are back with Be My Guest, an entrepreneur showcase, and we are here with our first guest, Hercules Conway from Next Level Entertainment. Next Level was founded in 2005 and specializes in providing upscale events for the collegiate crowds and 25 and up demographics. They have divisions in Greensboro, Charlotte, Atlanta, and New York City. Thank you so much. Hey, Herc, how are you doing today? Hello, how are you? Pretty good. I'm pretty good. All right, so I want to ask you the first question. How did you get started with Next Level? Um, when I started Next Level, I was still uh, in undergrad at North Carolina A&T. Okay, Aggie Pride. And <laughs> Aggie Pride, Aggie Pride. And honestly, it was just kind of something that I did as a hobby, okay. uh, and something that I did on the side. Um, I was actually initiated uh, uh, Beta Epsilon, mm -hmm. A Phi A, and I was actually the uh, brother in the chapter that would actually put the parties together oh, very nice. for the chapter. Right. So that kind of gave me a little bit of experience. And I had a couple of frat brothers that would host parties as well. Okay. So that's how I kind of got my feet wet. Mm -hmm. um, but just initially just through kind of seeing what other people did, mm -hmm. uh, I just kind of gave it a stab. Because right. uh, there was a void that was missing with the type of parties that Next Level did. Right, okay. Uh, you know, just kind of dress code wise and mm -hmm. venue wise. So uh, that's kind of how. I got my start. Um, and what did you major in at A&T? Psychology. Psychology. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice, very nice. So what do you love about the field of entertainment and parties and just doing everything? <laughs> um, not to have this answer be too basic, but mm -hmm. I have one of those rare fields where it's, I'm always around people when they're happy. Okay. You know, when they're at their best. Right. Uh, whether it's something we're doing with travel, whether it's a a brunch we're doing, whether it's a party, mm -hmm. you know, upscale or something college-based. Right. People are always, you know, at their best and they're always happy. Mm -hmm. So considering, you know, I'm always around people when they're giving off positive energy mm -hmm. is really what makes what I do rewarding. That's great. That's really good. Um, so what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Um, simple. Just uh, being your own boss. You know, right. what's more rewarding than being your own boss? Right. You know, when you're your own boss, you can control your company, you can control the direction, mm -hmm. um, you can control your environment, who's right. around you, you can control your pay. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, just wanting to be your, your own person oh, and, yeah. you know, choosing your own path and not having to answer to anyone. So what's your typical day like? Typical day, um, one, from family or just business? Business or, yeah, business. Okay. And family, you can have um, both in there if you like. Well, I say average day. I wake up at 6.45 a.m. I have a four-year-old and an eight-month-old at the house. Once I kind of get them squared away, then it's on to business number one. Uh, business number one would be Next Level. Uh, Next Level operates in several different cities. Uh, but myself, I have a partner here based with me named Newton Dennis. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we roughly have about nine to ten events in Greensboro a year so. Um, it's always really planning for the immediate event that we have right. as well as the next event okay. afterwards. So we normally spend about an hour and a half uh, to two hours on next level tasks. Okay. After that, we have a lot of emails to check based off of the travel that we mm -hmm. do. Uh, we do four big travel excursions a year, okay. uh, one being Spring Break Miami. Uh, oh, yeah, that Miami. just passed by, mm -hmm. as you know, maybe 
what, a week ago? Right, and we yeah. actually had 600 people wow. uh, that we took. Actually, we were a little shy of 600. Really? Okay. Uh, we, little, 590. Little That's good. But I'm still That's counting still it as 600. Right. <laughs> um, so we had 600 people that we took to Miami with us. Mm -hmm. um, we actually just got back from Dubai Sunday night. Okay. Uh, we did 46 alumni uh, for that. And then we have two more trips coming up as well. We have a uh, Cancun mm -hmm. and we have Dominican Republic. Oh, so that's going to be nice. Um, yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so really, it's a lot of question, a lot of answer mm -hmm. with people having questions about reservations, flights. Some people wanted to change flights. Right. Some people wanted to change roommates. Oh. Um, and then there's other trips that we book as well outside of the big trips we do. We actually do honeymoons for people. We do mm -hmm. bachelor parties, bachelorette parties. So it's a lot of question and answer. Um, when it comes to what we do, uh, just emo wise. Okay. Um, other than that, um, I actually have a, a lounge that I operate as well, so that normally gets about an hour and a half of my time as well. Right, gotcha. Okay, so I know that you have a lot of different, I guess, employees or different students that you know represent Next mm -hmm. Level. So, what do you look for in those students um, that you have at the various campuses? Um, number one, uh, what we strive to look for is kind of like a who's who. Mm -hmm. We want a leader. Um, there's no typical prototype. It's just positive energy. That's right. what we're looking okay, for. Mm -hmm. Because we have a lot of different types of people on Next Level from, right. you know, freshmen. We have sophomores, mm. juniors, seniors. We actually have grad students okay. in Next Level. We have people from all different types of hometowns, mm -hmm. all different types of organizations. Um, but the constant it's just positive energy, wow. uh, people that care about their reputations mm -hmm. and care about their brand. Because your reputation, it's, which, you know, I tell, and what I call next level members, I call them my young ones. Right. Uh, okay. Just because they're right. way younger than me. But I tell them, you know, your reputation is your personal brand. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't just carry yourself the right way for next level. But, you know, carry yourself the right way for yourself. Right. Because, you know, the way people think about you in college mm -hmm. is going to be a lasting impression on how people think about yes. you 20, 30 years from now. Yes, indeed. So... That's very nice. Okay, so um, what hurdles presented the greatest challenge toward making your business a success? <sighs> hmm. I think the challenge for any young person starting a business, mm -hmm. uh, particularly with their friends, is knowing what support is. Right. That's, um, yeah. And when I say that, it's when you're starting a business, when you're starting a new business, mm -hmm. a lot of your friends will want things either discounted or they'll yeah. want them for free. Right. And they don't understand that that's not support. That's support true. is mm -hmm. paying for my service the same way you would pay for anybody else's service. anyone else's service. That makes sense. Um, I would think that was that would be a huge hurdle because anyone that I would be in study groups with mm -hmm. wanting to get into the party for free. Wow. You know, every frat brother I had, you know, and no slight on my brothers, I love them to death. <laughs> right. But everybody wanted to be free. Mm -hmm. um, coworkers, you know, I don't know if. You remember Circuit City? I don't know if that's before your day. I think it's before my time. But um, <laughs> I used to work at Circuit City uh, mm -hmm. when I was an undergrad. But every coworker I had, just because they worked with me, they wanted to be in an event for right. free. And I just had to break it down that you know I cannot build a business, and no one can build a business when they're mm -hmm. giving away all their services for free. So I would probably say that would be the biggest hurdle outside mm -hmm. of the obvious financial hurdles that any new business will have. Right, okay, very nice. So what advice do you have for future entrepreneurs? Hmm. Um, I would say have a plan. Have a plan, number one. Mm -hmm. Have a plan. Um, I think a support system mm -hmm. is extremely, extremely good. If you want to win a championship, that's what I call it. A champ, yeah. <laughs> Succeeding in business, I call it winning a championship. Right. If you want to win a championship, you've got to have good team players around you. Mm -hmm. Even if they're not in your business, is just people that are going to be positive right. because you're going to have low points. You're going to have hurdles um, and you're going to fail. Right. That makes you know, sense. but as long as you have positive energy and people that are going to um, encourage you to keep going, mm -hmm. that's, it. that's just something that's, you know, instrumental. I right. know at least it wasn't in, in my case. That's great. I appreciate you so much for coming on today. We really appreciate mm -hmm. having you. Um, if you guys want to check more of Next Level, check out their website at nextlevel.com. But right now we are going to kick it to Alana Covington and see what's happening on social media. Hello, I'm Alana Covington with TEM Video. Today we have a Twitter poll that needs your answer. Log on to Twitter, follow TEM Video and answer our poll questions. Our question is true or false. 
Bill Gates and Steve Jobs were partners at Apple? The answer will be revealed later on in the show. Coming up, we have our next entrepreneurs from Brown Boxworks. Stay tuned. TEM now offers live streaming video for use in broadcasting your event in real time to any device, any size audience, anywhere in the world in HD. Whether it's a sporting event, concert, annual corporate meeting, or secure legal conference, we can broadcast your event live to as many viewers that have web access via their iPhone, Android, laptop, or large screen monitors. During the event, we simultaneously create a high-definition archive file you may keep for creating copies for viewing on Blu-ray or DVDs or editing highlights. Do you need an event streamed over the internet? Let the TEM professionals guarantee a smooth live streaming experience. We do it right the first time, on time. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram at TEM Video, just a click away. Welcome back to my guest is Entrepreneur Day and next up we have Roundbox Works. They are a new startup company focused on making mobile apps to change the way people interact with friends and stay connected one awesome platform at a time. Their core goal is to bring innovative and creative platforms to the market. Today we have Everett Slocomb, CEO, and Keenan Smith, who is also who is the CEO. Nice to have you guys today. Glad to be here. Good, good. So please tell me a little bit more about what Brown Box Works is. Well, uh, Brown Box Works started on ANT's campus as a mobile app. Uh, Everett had the idea to uh, bring college events to the students. So uh, he saw that there was a need to um, tell basically all the students when the parties and kickbacks which were is, going on. Yeah, which is yeah, perfect. Yeah, for A&T, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we built Aggies Land, uh, got a user base, and I mean, me and Everett, we were sitting down, and my brother, twin brother, mm -hmm. were sitting down, and we were like, this is what we want to do. Uh, we want to be more into technology. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to create our a mobile app development company, which turned into Brown Box Works. So what made you come up with the name Brown Box Works? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the name Brown Box Works, it's uh, pretty funny. Um, it comes from an episode of SpongeBob, okay, actually. Okay, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what it comes from is the episode where SpongeBob and Patrick are, they're in a box, basically. Mm -hmm. and I think Squidward ordered a TV. And mm -hmm. So the whole goal of it was that SpongeBob and Patrick were inside of the box, and Squidward outside, they were playing, I think they were on um, this thing, this place called Robot Pirate Island. Mm -hmm. And Squidward, so inside the box, they were just making different sounds. But outside of the box, Squidward heard really like high def right. sounds, like swords and everything. And so he went to the box and he opened it. He was like, how are you guys making all these sounds? Yeah. Like, it's just you guys in here. And so SpongeBob popped out of the box and was like, imagination. Oh, look at that's what That's where the name comes from. It's... It's meant, it's meant to be around in, uh, imagination, creativity, and mm -hmm. um, hard work okay. all come together to make great things. Very nice. So what relationship, relationships, I'm sorry, did you develop um, throughout making your app uh, Brown Box Works or your, you know, thing yeah. Brown Box Works? Oh, wow. Um, this is a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. uh, since making Brown Box Works and then going to our first pitch uh, downtown at Idea Slam, uh, the city of Greensboro really fell in love with us. Wow. Uh, they embraced <laughs> us. Uh, we met our first angel investor um, through our first pitch event, which is very rare. Mm -hmm. um, and we got connected with uh, the people in charge of the events that go on in Greensboro. So mm -hmm. Action Greensboro, we've, uh, we've networked a lot. Uh, and they're really supporting us. 
um, from downtown Greensboro to UNCG mm -hmm. even, um, and a &T has now gotten on board with Perfect, us as well, yes. so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so tell me about, do you guys have any upcoming apps coming out, or? Yeah, y'all yes, do? do. Oh. Let the cat out tell the bag. Yes. <laughs> All right, um, we have two platforms right now okay. that are in development. <laughs> um, one is called Shorty. It's a uh, short story writing platform for mm -hmm. those who just like to just write random things. And so we wanted okay. to really grab the market of people who wanted to really enjoy writing short stories rather than the long ones with the chapters and things right. like that. Okay. Um, our second platform we're working on is called Naked. Mm -hmm. So it's called N A K D. Okay. Um, hashtag different. get naked. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag get naked. Uh -huh. but, uh, the purpose of the platform is to end the superficial way mm -hmm. that everyone connects with new friends. And okay. So what it does is it allows you to match with one individual and learn about them over the course of 24 hours mm. before you see any pictures or the profile that's revealed like to you. I that, yes. Thank you. And, <laughs> and, it's in, and after the 24 hours is over, you get to see like three pictures from their profile. Okay. And then you get, to, you get three options. You get to friend them, mm -hmm. pursue them, or drop them. Oh, I like so that. Friend them, pursue them, yeah, or drop them. Drop them, them mm. is mainly just like if they were just, you know, terrible yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Right. You drop them. But okay. friend them, let's know you just want to be friends. Pursue mm -hmm. them, let's them know. I want to be friends, but I want to be more than just friends. friends. Okay, yeah, so. that'd be nice. So, is are the apps more college for college students, or is it kind of just broad for all ages? Um, Shorty is definitely for all ages. Okay. Um, we see Naked being more of the college student right. demographic, um, mm -hmm. but it, it has potential to be for everyone. Really, that's the end goal, of course, to have that's everyone on the platform. So. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so where do you see Brown Box in the next? Five years. Oh, I love this question. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so where we're starting now, we're starting with mobile app development. Okay. Um, one reason why we um, started the company all together is because we liked using our imaginations and pushing things and pushing boundaries and coming up with new innovative um, things to use. So mm -hmm. my brother, um, Kendrick Smith, is the CVO of the company, Chief Visionary Officer, and he's also a declared futurist. So okay. what that means is that he looks forward of where technology like is that. going Future, so yes. that he can bring us value for the platforms that we come out with. So Brown Box works in the next five years. We'll have about three or four mobile applications out, but mm -hmm. we'll be getting into different technologies such as new uses for wearable tech that could go into the medical field so that Ooh, we okay. can help patients um, understand are their blood, is their blood sugar too high and they can mm -hmm. react to this rather than going to the doctor. They can have this yeah. um, information available to them through an iPad. Um, also getting into different um, other different technologies. Mm -hmm. We're still planning and don't want to get too far ahead, but right. Brown Box Works is going to, I'll just leave it like as this, Brown Box Works will go farther into technology. We're not going to stop at mobile apps. We have a plan mm. that my plan for the company is to be the most, the second most recognizable symbol on the face of yes. the planet um, by 2022 at least. 2022, so, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, do you wanna add anything? <laughs> I was just gonna say about the, um, the future technologies we're going into, a lot of our platforms that we're creating today mm -hmm. will go perfectly into what we wanna go into, which is like the augmented reality and the virtual reality um, technologies because that's where everything's going now. Right. You know, it's, no longer just, you know, go read a paper and things mm -hmm. like that. Like even an iPad, now it's just a lens with the yeah. screen right on, right there. And you can look at the TV really now. Mm -hmm. Things like HoloLens where you can watch your Netflix while you're babysitting. Like, yeah. you're going to be anywhere without a screen. Right. It's just right in front of you. That's very so, nice. Yeah. So what advice do you have for future entrepreneurs? You want to go first? I'll just say, you know, just just go for it. I think mm -hmm. the, the heart, the, the, the holds a lot of people back is just, I guess the planning stage. People like to plan and try to perfect so early on when honestly what you what should happen is just to go for it. Just to, go for to it. get a product out to the customers, mm -hmm. see if they really want it and just go from there. Just really take action. Take action. That take action. definitely makes sense. What about you? I will say simply uh, be prepared to sacrifice. A lot of people want to get into this entrepreneurial space and claim they're entrepreneurs but don't want to really make any sacrifices in life. You know it's going to take some cutting off people right. and not negatively, but you just need time to focus on your passion and whatever it is you want to do and hone into that. And you can't do that 
trying to keep up with mediocre, um, the mediocre lifestyle mm -hmm. of what everyone else is doing. Right. So mm -hmm. I would say sacrifice is one of the biggest. Be prepared to make those <laughs> sacrifices right. and, and um, remove yourself from what everyone else is doing because if you want what everyone else has and you're not ready to be an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs are the one who goes out and creates new things mm -hmm. that other people aren't thinking about. So You are completely right. Thank you guys so much for um, coming on today. We learned a lot. I know the viewers <laughs> did. Um, if you want to get in contact with them, visit their website at brownboxworks.com. Um, stay tuned for a fun and interactive game with both of our guests today. TEM now offers live streaming video for use in broadcasting your event in real time to any device, any size audience, anywhere in the world in HD. Whether it's a sporting event, concert, annual corporate meeting, or secure legal conference, we can broadcast your event live to as many viewers that have web access via their iPhone, Android, laptop, or large screen monitors. During the event, we simultaneously create a high-definition archive file you may keep for creating copies for viewing on Blu-ray or DVDs or editing highlights. Do you need an event streamed over the internet? Let the TEM professionals guarantee a smooth live streaming experience. We do it right the first time, on time. TEM now offers AV rental packages. Packages include projectors, screen, microphones, mixers, and speakers. Call and get your quote today at 336-698-9095 or visit our website, www.technicaleventmanagement.com. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram at TEM Video. Just a click away. Hey everyone, I'm Alana Covington and the Twitter poll results are in. The question was true or false? Were Bill Gates and Steve Jobs business partners at Apple? 100% of you guys said true and 0% said false. You guys are good because the correct answer is true. The, thanks for participating in our Twitter poll. I'm Alana Covington, once again, back to Misha. Hello and welcome back to Be My Guest. We have Next Level Entertainment Herc and Brown Box Works um, Keenan. And we are now going to play uh, the fishbowl game. So with this game, each guest will reach into the bowl and pull out one question at a time and answer it out loud. Um, so Keenan, you can go ahead and go first. This should be very interesting. <laughs> see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> God. Okay. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Okay, mm. so this is interesting. I'll try and keep this short. Okay. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I was actually on the North Carolina a t track team for the past four years. Wow, good. Um, yeah. So I have plans of going to the Olympics in 2020, uh, and I'm also a motivational speaker, so I'm creating a brand for that. Uh, so you I, do it all. Yeah, I yeah have, you do it all. <laughs> I have three things going on. So Brown Box Works right. taking that to the second most recognizable symbol on the face of the planet, and mm -hmm. then motivational speaking and track and field. That's it. Would you like to answer that question as well? Uh oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, next ten years, um, sooner or later, I will have to make my progression from mm -hmm. events to venues. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So the same way Next Level has its different brands with 18 and up, 21 and up, 25 right. and up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Events, I would have to have my staple of own venues. Right, okay. Uh, you know, from people in their 40s, yeah. mm -hmm. 30s, <laughs> people in their 20s, and you know, just kind of get into the hospitality right. uh, field. I like that, very nice. Yeah. You can go ahead next. All right, nervous. <laughs> hmm, okay, describe your life in three words. In three words. Um, Mm, it's kind of three words. Uh, I would say uh, blessed. Blessed, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, adventurous. Mm. And uh, I'm making this so hard. <laughs> uh, I 
it's all right. Just the last one. Happy. Happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> right. Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Right. I like that word. Yeah. yeah, I like that word. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna choose it for you. I'm gonna read all it out loud right. for ahead. you. Go ahead. All right. What is your nickname? Oh God, I don't know if I can say. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Um. So my nickname in middle school, I got this. It was Naughty Balls, Naughty and balls. it's a funny story <laughs> because <laughs> I was <laughs> because um I I am a guy who likes all sorts of sports with balls, dodgeball, basketball, football. Back when I was in middle school, mm -hmm. so a girl was like. Um, when I was in middle school, Keenan, you're so naughty. <laughs> now your name is Naughty Balls, and then people just started, started calling, calling me that. And wow, yeah. that is a nickname right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for you, Herc, who is your favorite celebrity? My favorite celebrity, I probably have to say Oprah. Oprah, mm -hmm. yes, Oprah. she is. I mean, she and, is you know, Oprah, com. her reputation just it speaks for itself. Right. I have to go into it. But, yeah. yeah. You know, she's strictly the the definition of me of, you know. From the bottom, all the way to the yeah. top. Right. So. Very nice. You want to pick it, and I'll read it. You can just pick the hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your final question. question. What was your favorite Disney movie growing up? So many. I know. I have. I have a number. Oh <laughs> man, growing up, uh, and I would say it's probably a tie. It's between Fox and the Hound and The Hunchback and Notre Dame. I like those. Between movies. those yes. two movies. Yes, indeed. <laughs> what about you? Do you have a favorite? Oh, I'm Lion King. <laughs> oh, Lion King. Too. Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. has it all. You know, you, right. got, you got love, you got revenge. Yeah. <laughs> you got it all in one. You got it all in one. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to pick it? Uh, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Your final question is, what is your most prized possession? My family. Family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Easy as that. Family. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, I thank you guys so much for playing the game with me. Um, let's see here. That was an exciting game. Thank you both for your time today and all the great advice and knowledge you have given to our viewers. Be sure to keep up with them by visiting their websites or contacting them by email. Next week, we will be back for the final show of Be My Guest, Entrepreneur Show. I'm Misha Caldwell, and thank you for tuning in. See you next time. This has been a T-E-M video production.